In the energy markets today, crude oil has its largest one-day move since mid-June, and it was substantial, up 5% and a couple of tenths of a percent at the highs. From low to high, that was the size of the move. And it actually got through, decidedly, a significant point of resistance, something that we look at technically called the rotation zone as well as the 50-day moving average. We got well above that 50-day moving average. There's still quite a bit of resistance on the upside between 58 and 60 for WTI. Hasn't gotten through there yet, but again, very convincing move through that 50-day means that even if you got a pullback in that 50-day holds, it's likely to rotate right back up and possibly take out the other resistance. This was clearly a short covering rally in the way that it traded in the volume itself, that's likely what happened, especially given the catalyst for it. The catalyst being the thawing of the trade tensions, and I'll get back to that in a minute. But the reason that you know this was a short covering rally is simply the speed of it off of just a news announcement. The fundamentals of crude oil isn't really affected, at least in the short, short term, by 10% tariffs being delayed and the Chinese being willing to talk in September but the potential for more demand is there. It did show up out the curve in crude oil, but this was clearly a situation where some of the shorts needed to cover. That's what makes markets go up very quickly. And I mentioned the thawing of trade tensions. That's what I just talked about was China saying they would meet with the US government by phone at the beginning of September, despite the threat and President Trump agreed to delay some of those tariffs. And lastly, we do have EIA tomorrow. We're expecting, at least analysts are expecting, according to a global plat survey, a 2.7 million barrel draw in that EIA figure. We had a draw last week as well. And refinery utilization staying elevated at 96.4. That's what the expectations are. Now, if we got that number, the surplus would be at about 4.36 million barrels. That would put us about 2.5 million barrels above the five-year average in terms of the inventories. Right now we're at about 4.384. It's about 2.6 percent above the five-year. So we're still in a surplus situation for crude oil. Again, part of the reason crude oil came off a little bit, short covering today, but still that bullish story for crude oil isn't really cohesive. So it's not really likely to drive it that much higher unless we continue to get progress in the trade tensions and some better data out of Europe.